Now, the war in West Asia continues to make headlines despite the two sides agreeing to a truce. Israeli officials say there will be no pause in, in the Gaza fighting or any release of hostages held by Hamas before Friday. Well, it's definitely a change from what we read and heard yesterday. In the latest, the Israeli army has showed a reinforced tunnel beside Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza. The tunnel was complete with a bathroom, a kitchen, and an air conditioned meeting room that it said had served as a command post for Hamas fighters. Now, the Israeli army said the tunnel shaft, some two meters high, was accessed through a door outdoor shaft in the hospital complex grounds. They further added that the area was once crowded with tens of thousands of Palestinian civilians. The Hamas militants used them as a human shield. From the wall. Now we are in the tunnel uh, just below the cathartic building that you saw outside. Uh, there is uh, rooms uh, that, uh, that helps the Hamas to stay here and they use the hospital as a human shield because they understood that we will not attack them. We assume that there is another way out that they prepared. It's not open yet. Israel has long accused Hamas militants of using the Al Shifa hospital complex as a command and control center as part of a wider strategy to, that seeks to hide its forces among the civilian population. And the Israeli military, which had been seeking to produce evidence for its claim, portrayed the underground hideout as its most significant discovery yet, although Hamas and hospital officials have denied the accusation. The hospital site in Gaza has been at the center of accusations of war crimes on both sides, with Palestinians accusing Israel of targeting hospitals and Israel saying the sites were used to shelter armed fighters. Moreover, Israel has said that its military will continue operations in Gaza after the hostages are released as detailed by the ceasefire agreement made with Hamas militants. Israel is at war with Hamas. This is a war that we did not start and we did not seek. An operational pause for release of hostages does not change it. Israel is still at war with Hamas and we are committed achieving our goals. Defeat Hamas and bring all our hostages home. Moreover, during a visit to Khan Yunus, the head of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees has said that a waterborne disease outbreak is imminent in the region. The organization is describing the situation for most as desperate. This is people lack all kinds of resources. I have also been explain the important increase of skin disease, which is not surprising when we see the unsanitary condition people are living in. But now winter is coming. People are lacking everything. We have water in the street. And I have been warned that we are on the eve of a waterborne disease outbreak. And this needs absolutely to be prevented. According to the UN's World Food Program, dehydration and malnutrition are growing amongst the Gazans. The UN has also warned of growing risk of widespread starvation after internet and telephone services collapsed in the besieged enclave because of lack of fuel.